Laurent Tafan is the head of AOLAB at Renault, and you're introducing a very interesting car here. Explain what it is. Well, AOLAB is uh, basically a research prototype attempting at, at imagining what the future vehicles could look like. It's a very fuel efficient vehicle. It uses uh, only one liter per 100 kilometers, which is about 250 miles per gallon. And uh, we do this, we did this on this research prototype through light weighting to taking off about uh, 400 kilos, which is one third of the, the weight, uh, optimizing uh, the uh, aerodynamic uh, uh, properties of the car and uh, putting a hybrid, uh, plug-in hybrid powertrain on it, allowing uh, driving zero emission up to 60 kilometers. Mm -hmm. Which is almost 40 miles. Which is about 40 miles, correct. Yeah. Now, this is very interesting. A one-liter car, we've seen Volkswagen do the same thing, but with a much smaller <coughs> car than what you have here. Actually, this point is key. Uh, in itself, per se, uh, such a, a fuel-efficient car is not really uh, the point or a, a real challenge in 2014, we think. It's been a while since uh, Renault uh, broke the, the world record of uh, fuel consumption. It was back in uh, 80, 1987, uh, less than two liter. Truly, the challenge today is how do we do such a very uh, fuel efficient car without uh, sacrificing uh, uh, the, the beauty of the car, uh, the performances like the safety, uh, roominess, comfort, acoustics, and uh, uh, truly how do we keep it affordable for the bigger number. So the car also is designed to keep the price, to keep the cost as close as possible uh, to a, 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 a similar car of today. And now you're showing this concept, but I understand that you're going to let the media start driving a prototype that is very much similar to this. Absolutely, uh, but well, uh, from the outside, it's pretty much the same. It looks uh, almost the same. A few differences, like the windshield, uh, which is here uh, uh, an open roof. Uh, the, the driving prototype has a, a simple shield and, and a magnesium roof. Uh, a few details on, on the front fascia are also different. The tires are a little less big. Here we have 19-inch tires. Uh, the rolling car is, is only 17-inch, but roughly it looks exactly the same. It's as dynamic and uh, as uh, uh, appealing uh, in terms of style. Uh, but it's really uh, uh, very fuel efficient. We are t test driving it uh, starting tomorrow and we're very excited about this. And I understand that prototype is also a one liter car. Absolutely, it is. Uh, so it's, it's uh, uh, what, what could I say about this? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, yes, it's, uh, the, the prototype is, um, is uh, very fuel efficient. It, it has a, a fuel consumption of about of a one liter per 100 kilometers mixed cycle. And Laurent, so when might we see something with this kind of technology in the showroom where the public can buy it? Well, uh, you're right. Actually, this is a research prototype. It, it combines uh, around it about 100 technological uh, innovations around light weighting, aerodynamics, and, and powertrain. In itself, uh, the, the, the car, as it's shown today, will is not destined to be sold in a visible future as is or per se. Uh, the, the, the point is all its innovations, about 100, are destined to be applied on the, uh, on the future lineup of Renault in uh, the coming years with uh, different horizons depending on the, on the difficulty to apply them. The easiest uh, uh, innovations to apply will come very soon, like next year. Uh, some innovations like the composite materials on the body uh, require quite a, 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 a big change in the way we manufacture cars. So they'll need uh, our plants, our, our production system to uh, evolve, to be adapted. This will take a few more years and uh, this type of innovation will, uh, will appear probably a bit later, uh, let's say 2020 and maybe for some uh, a, a, a little bit after that. In automotive terms, not too far away. Laurent Tafat, thanks so much for your time. Thank you very, very much. interesting car. We appreciated that. Very good. Thank you. Keep tuning in. We've got more updates coming from the Paris Motor Show. There's only one car company in America that's never made a single car. 
And while you won't find Firestone cars on any showroom floor, they're out there running better, faster, stronger, longer. No, we don't build cars. But make no mistake, Firestone is a car company. So whatever you drive, drive a Firestone.